hi there and welcome to my channel and today i just want to come in briefly and talk to you about a one note yellow pad and i know that people hear me talk about these things all the time and they're like okay now why do i need to have this and you maybe you don't need to have it but i just wanted to talk to you about maybe considering moving your paper yellow pads over to your cloud-based law firm notebook in OneNote so that you'll always have your notes. And so I'm going to show you the reason why I wanted to do this video. And that is because I came across this post and I thought about what I would be thinking to myself if this happened to me. And so I did a whole video on this. And so if you want to go back and review uh, my video on this topic, I have my video already posted here uh, on this topic about some of the things that I want to talk to you about today. Because now, if you have a situation like this to happen in your law firm, you'll be asking, okay, now what am I going to do about this? And so that is why I like to have a practice of, even if it's something that I want to write on a paper uh, notebook, I uh, would want to transfer it over to OneNote. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. And so this is a post that I came across and uh, <laughs> I just want to show you what I'm talking about when I say a cloud-based place to store your paper uh, notebooks. And so I'm going to talk about two methods here today. I'm going to talk about what I call the old school method because the lawyer in this post, he described himself as old school because he wanted to write his opening statement on his paper yellow pad and that is what he did and then he left home or he left his office and came back and found that his puppy had taken out some anger on his on his opening statement and so this is what I want to talk about today. And so I just want to show you how easy it is to maintain your files in OneNote. And so I'm going to go back out here and show you my, I'm going to do this in my OneNote law firm notebook. And so this is my OneNote law firm notebook. And here are some of my notes within this notebook. Okay. And so this is my yellow pad uh, notebook within this particular law firm notebook. But so let me, I'm just going to delete this section because I don't want that. Yes. All right. And so this is just my yellow pad within my uh, civil law firm notebook here. And so I just want to show you how easy it is for you to create your own yellow pad notebook. And before I jump into that, I just want to say that if you're interested in purchasing Professor Blackmore's pre-made uh, yellow pad notebook template or Professor Blackmore's pre-made OneNote civil or criminal uh, law firm notebook templates, you can head over to my website at professorblackmore.com and you can purchase a pre-made uh, law firm notebook template or a pre-made yellow pad notebook template. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can make your own. And so the first thing you want to do is you just want to go over to this tab right here in the middle uh, where it talks about all of your different notebooks. Here you can see all of your different notebooks here 
whenever you want to open a notebook, it'll open in this pane right here. But if you want to create a new notebook, you can go down to this plus notebook sign down here, which really means add a new notebook. And so you want to press that button and then you'll get to a place where you can name your notebook. And so I'm going to call this This is going to be my YouTube live yellow pad here. And then after you uh, provide a name for your notebook, then you can just go ahead and press create notebook. And then OneNote will create this notebook. This notebook will immediately be able to be seen by anybody who shares your notebook with you. They will be able to see that. And so here, I'm going to open up my mobile device here so that I can do this all at the same time. And later on, I'll talk to you about some apps that you can download on your mobile device so that whenever you uh, use your desktop version of OneNote, which is what this is that I'm using right here up at the top where it says OneNote for Windows 10. That lets you know that this is your desktop version of OneNote. But then you also have your mobile uh, version, your on what I call your online version of OneNote, uh, which will be on your mobile device. And so I'm I'm going to record this because later on I'm going to upload this so that you can see this as well. And so later on, when you go wherever you are, you may be at a meeting somewhere. You may be at the courthouse, wherever you are, you will be able to see this brand new notebook that I just created. If you have access to this notebook. And so let me start that. And so if I start this right now, I can go to OneNote on my mobile device and I'm going to go ahead and show you. So here now I'm going to the Google Play Store, but if you have an Apple device and you have to use the Apple Store, whatever, this is the icon you're going to be looking for later on. I'm going to talk to you about Microsoft Office Lens, but then this is the uh, mobile OneNote app here and you want to make sure you have that app downloaded okay and so then now when I go back over to my brand new notebook that I just created when I go out to my mobile device and I go over to more notebooks I can search for this notebook called YouTube live yellow pad and so all of your notebooks are going to be here in alphabetical order. And I'm going to post this video of this so that you can see this as well. So YouTube Live Yellow Pad is already there. So I can go ahead and open that notebook here as well. So just that easy, you've already created your Yellow Pad notebook. And since this is my yellow pad notebook, what I like to do is I like to make sure that the color matches the occasion. And so I can right click on this new notebook that I have now created and I can change the color of this notebook and I wanna make it yellow, okay? And so now what you wanna do is you wanna create sections. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my yellow pad notebook that I already have created here. And so this is my yellow pad notebook here. And you can see I already have pre-made sections in it. So just like a yellow pad, when you go to pick up your yellow pad, you're gonna have a fresh new page on that yellow pad. And so that's the same thing that I want to do whenever I have my 
yellow pad within OneNote. Whenever I need to make a note on my yellow pad, I'm going to be able to go to uh, a new section and I want to be able to name that section whatever it is that I am creating my notes about. And so that is what I'm going to do with my new note pad here. So I have my new notepad. I want all my sections in my notepad as well to be yellow. So I'm going to right click and I want to change the color to yellow. And so this is a new section here and I want to name this section one for later on uh, just so I can have a fresh section or you can really just leave it like this if you want to but I'm just going to name it. And then if I want to create a new section, all I have to do is go down here to the bottom and press this new section button. I want to call this section two. And then I want to go ahead and change the color of that section as well. So I have my two sections here. And then I'm going to go back and show you what my notepad looks like. So as you can see here, I not only do I have fresh sections here for me to be able to use whenever I want to be able to use a new section, but I also have pages in there, uh, blank pages so that I can just go ahead and just be able to uh, use a new page whenever I need one. And then you can decrease the page so that you can see, you know, so much or so less of the page that you want to see. And so I'm going to do that in my new notebook as well. So I have my new section here. And in my section one, I want to create a new page. So you could do that in two, in two ways. You can right click on a page and then you can just press new page below. Or you could just, I'm going to delete that page, or you can go to the page and you can go here and press new page down here. So you can do that in two ways. Okay. And so you could call this page one, and then you can call this H2. And you can create as many pages as you want in each one of your sections. But the point of this is that whenever you have a new topic that you want to write a note about, then you'll already have a fresh section that you can use. And so my hope is that eventually you would possibly uh, use OneNote to write your notes in using this method, which I will talk about later. This is method two, but I do appreciate that there are some people who uh, want to write their notes on a paper yellow pad. So I do appreciate that. And so for those people, you want to make sure that you always transfer that note. Once you're finished, you want to go ahead and transfer that note over to your uh, OneNote file so that you'll always have a copy of it. You never know. Uh, you may go somewhere and you may think of something that you want to add to that note. You want to review the note for whatever reason. You'll be able to do that because that note will then be transferred and it will be in the cloud, so to speak, in your OneNote law firm files. And so then you can access that note from anywhere. And if a situation happens uh, like this, then you'll have another copy of that exact same note. And you'll it'll be like you never lost any time 
uh, and you won't have to go back and recreate that note. And so I am going to go up here to section one of this notepad. If I wanted to do method two, I would just come in and I would write my note here. But if I have already written my note on my uh, OneNote yellow pad right here, like I did here for this demonstration, then I want to be able to take this note and transfer it using what I call method one, the old school method, okay? And so I'm gonna do that right now. But what I wanna do is I want to use my OneNote where I have my old yellow pads, or you could call this your paper. This could be your section where you keep all of your paper yellow pads. And so you could create a new section here and call it paper yellow pads okay i'm gonna obviously change the color to yellow and then what i'm gonna call this is my opening statement so i'm gonna call this my it would be helpful if i could share that with you <laughs> okay so I created a new section here calling it paper yellow pads. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a page for my opening statement. So I'm going to call this Okay. So now later on I may want to find this note. So being able to name this, give it a name, will make it very easy for me to be able to find this note later on if I have another notebook open. So let's say that I am in this civil law firm notebook and I just want to find all of my notebooks with the word YouTube on it. OneNote gives you the ability to search all of your notes. So here it shows me that YouTube live opening statement right here. So I can go right here to the place where I left off to find that note. And so one of the things that you want to do, if you want to transfer, now you want to take your paper notes and you want to make your paper notes accessible in the cloud so that you can access it wherever you are now and so that you don't lose it so that you won't be in the situation that i described earlier you want to now go ahead and transfer this note and so this is where you would want to go and make sure that you have microsoft office lens downloaded on your mobile app and you also want to make sure that you have OneNote downloaded on your mobile device. And if you want to later go back and review the steps of what I am talking about, I also wanted to let you know that I have made videos about both of these topics the old school method method one that i'm talking about today and the new school method and here is another little bonus tip uh that i wanted to give you about one note and that is that if you have a video in youtube let's say any youtube video link if you copy a YouTube video link and then you come into OneNote, you can paste that link in and OneNote gives you the ability to be able to play that video right in your notes. So I can put that video right here 
in my notes and I don't have to navigate out to YouTube to play this video. So that's just a, a bonus tip for you there. But I was saying that to let you know that you can go back and review both of these methods. I have already done videos on both of these methods so that you can go back and review those. But once you have your apps downloaded onto your mobile device, which is what I'm using right here, then you want to uh, go to your Office Lens app on your mobile device. And then you just want to simply snap a picture of that paper note that you have taken. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. All right. And I'm just going to, I'm not even going to fix it. I'm just going to go ahead. Oh no. I want to, let me, let me fix it just a little bit. All right. So now I'm going to save this note. I'm going to call it YouTube Yellow Pad. Okay. And then you want to, I have my OneNote selected. So I'm going to also do yes. And then now I can save that. So now it is transferring through the cloud into my quick notes. So I'm going to go out there and see if I can find it. Okay. And there. So let me so as you can see right here that note has synced through the cloud okay so now i am going to just right click and copy because then i'll have an extra copy saved there and then i'm going to go back out to my youtube live i'm just going to go to this one because here is where I have put my paper yellow pads. And so now I just want to go ahead and paste my notepad right there. And then I want to make this a sub page of my YouTube live opening statement. And so I can click this button right here and it'll snap the view so that I could see it a little bit better. I may want to decrease it just a little bit and so now you have a copy of this notepad now when i get ready to go over now i'm going to use my one note app and i'm going to try to find this notepad so i'm going to go to my paper yellow pads in here and then here is my YouTube live opening statement. And here is my yellow pad. And so that information sinks through the cloud instantaneously so that anybody back at your office will be able to view this note. Uh, and maybe it, wherever you are, you'll be able to view this note as well. So this is just a backup copy now. And so if something like this ever happens, then you'll have another copy of this note already handy right here in OneNote. You'll be able to access it and everybody on your team back at your law firm will also be able to access this notepad. Now, 
when I come back, I am going to share with you method two, which is the method that I would use if I just wanted to write this opening statement directly in my OneNote notebook that I just created here. This In this YouTube Live notepad, I could create a section here for my opening statement and I could write this right in here. And so when I come back and maybe tomorrow or another day and do another live, I'm going to talk to you about this particular method. But in the meantime, I hope you'll give me a big thumbs up and I hope that you'll please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I go live or whenever I post new videos. And please also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And also, please, if you'd like to have a copy of my pre-made OneNote yellow pad or Professor Blackmore's pre-made civil or criminal law firm notebook, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com. And if you have any questions, please post your questions in the comments section below and I will answer them right away. In the meantime, have a fantastic evening and afternoon. Goodbye from professorblackmore.com.